Hello everyone, welcome back to Bronco's Pipe Smoking Den. I'm Bronco. As usual, I'm in my den. And uh, today, I want to talk about how I make my reviews. Uh, I know I should have um, I should have continued with part three from uh, Let's Talk Pipes. I think that was called. Uh, I will do that, but um, it will take some time. Um, but now I'm, I'm doing this uh, this video in which I'm talking about the way that um, I'm uh, I'm making reviews because uh, people told me that I make good reviews, not necessarily those. Uh, very long uh, video reviews, but uh, I mean the reviews that I write on tobacco reviews. And uh, <clears throat> I wanted to share your uh, my to to share with you my uh, my method of making a review because it is a method that uh, I. I implemented. I have some rules when I make a review, no matter what uh, tobacco I have, I follow the same rules because doing a review it's not that easy if you really want to do an honest and uh, calculated review. Of course um, the notes that I detect can be different from uh, somebody else's, uh, but even so, I need to be a to be able to detect certain um, certain notes, flavors, whatever, and uh, to write them down in uh, the way that they present themselves and stuff like that so um, I'll just uh, light up my pipe and start telling you the process that I personally follow when I start to make a review and by the way um, I'm preparing to make some video reviews for this uh, Robert McConnell the original Oriental and uh, Dunhills, I don't even know how you sp how you you call it in uh, in English. Ye olde sign, ye olde sign. I don't know. It, it should be old English, I suppose. But um, yeah. Anyway, let's light up this pipe and uh, see how it goes. So, first of all, when I smoke a blend, I smoke it in a dedicated uh, pipe. For example, and uh, this is somehow connected to the video Let's Talk Pipes Part 3, which is going to come soon, and uh, that is about pipe uh, sizes and shapes and uh, stuff like that so um, for example if I choose to make a review for an English or an oriental blend, Balkan blend, whatever I choose pipes uh, like prince shape or uh, pot shape or uh, bulldog uh, even pot shaped pipes uh, and the classic 320KS from Savinelli even this um, this 11 shape pipe from Stanwell is uh, uh, good good pipe to dedicate to English slash oriental blends uh, if I want to make a review for um, an aromatic I have my dedicated pipes to aromatics if I want to make some uh, a video for 
<coughs> for Virginia, Street Virginia, different pipe for Virginia. If I want to make one for a vapor, a vapor, same stuff applies, different pipes. Of course, the best thing that I could do would be to to use a corn cob, a corn cob because they are very neutral, and uh, you can go you can't go wrong with a corn cob when it comes to to taste, mm. but. That is the first thing that I do when I when I review a blend. So depending on the blend, I choose what types of pipes I will use. And I won't use a single pipe. I will use different pipes for the same blend. So let's say that I'm uh, I'm reviewing this uh, Robert McConnell, which is Oriental. I'm going to smoke it in a prince shape pot, uh, in, in a prince shape pipe, and I'm going to smoke it in a pot shape pipe, and I'm going to smoke it in a bulldog or Rhodesian or whatever, in different pipes to see how it uh, manifests itself. Um, second of all, the tobacco. When I try it, I try it both on the dry side and on the moist side, and of course, middle of those. And uh, I take notes even for that. And I even try it fresh, and then I try it after a period that's uh, after it's set in a jar. Uh, and this is very important because the tobacco that you smoke fresh out of the tin will be different from the tobacco that has sit for a week and more so for a month in a jar. Because in a jar it um, it changes its... Um, well, I think this pipe is out. It's... Uh, I think I'm just smoking ashes right now. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, when uh, when the tobacco stays in a jar, it starts to develop its um, its flavors. It starts to bloom somehow. It changes, and the longer you set it, you let it sit. Uh, the more it will change and that's important it's important to me uh, to present in a review how it tastes fresh and how it tastes a bit aged not aged as in years of age but a bit aged and uh, out of the tin out of the uh, jar um, a very important thing. Uh, when I make a review, I don't just, you know, take this tin and I smoke three or four bowls and that's it. I write the review. No. Uh, what I do is I smoke the whole tin and almost every time that I have time and patience and silence, I load up my pipe and uh, I start taking notes when I am concentrated um, and I will finish the the review only after I finished the whole thing why because just like in the case of the jar the taste of the tobacco changes in time. So, let's say you detect some flavors, some notes, when you're starting the tin. But, when you're 
about half of the, of the tin or when the, the tin is almost empty you will notice that even the tobacco has changed and it's good that you can compare these and take into consideration how that blend changed what other uh, notes you have detected and stuff like that so um, you I personally prefer to smoke at least a tin of a certain blend before I, I give a conclusion obviously it would be best to to smoke two tins of the same blend to give a very objective um, con conclusion because you know some tins may be older some tins may be from a different uh, I don't know batch from a different uh, whatever and sometimes not always they have small differences I've seen that with nightcap for example which I smoked lots of tins of nightcap but um, yeah that's another rule I have to smoke the whole team in order to make a full review obviously I can't do that when I'm uh, reviewing samples so when I get a sample from someone uh, and I just received the sample of this Sutliff uh, what's it called what, what Sutliff is this it's an I think it's an aromatic English aromatic English um, what is this I forgot uh, let me see so um, I received this sample of Sutliff uh, blend number five for review and I will only be review what I have so I have to make the best of what I get okay so when making a review don't drink coffee don't drink anything else but water you don't want to to affect your taste buds with anything else you have to be you know to have a neutral taste in your mouth you don't want it to be affected by coffee or whiskey or whatever you need to smoke uh, and feel the, the taste of the tobacco when you have uh, a neutral taste in your mouth so that's why I recommend water and um, even crackers you know those little um, bit of salty crackers those are good if you want to take everything out of your taste buds and clear your taste buds so uh, when I'm reviewing I drink only water and uh, also if you have uh, let's say you have something like a burnt a burnt uh, tongue or candida or whatever some problems with your tooth or whatever don't make a review I don't make a review whenever I have some problem with my mouth because uh, that wouldn't be fair and it wouldn't be very objective so um, any any of these things that can um, how should I say that can affect the review and the uh, you know how should I say being objective and being true and being professional anything that can uh, get the in the way of these 
even if you're sick by the way if you're sick uh, don't make a review if you're ill or sick don't make a review because your taste is affected you know if you remember in the COVID uh, pandemic <laughs> one of the main traits of COVID was losing your taste and your smell but uh, that's not just with COVID you can get uh, the same thing with the simple flu you know your your senses uh, are not as developed uh, and not as strong as when you are when you are um, healthy so don't make a review when you are sick or ill don't make a review if you have problems with your tongue or your mouth or your teeth or whatever uh, drink water so make sure that your taste buds are in the base best shape and um, what else have a clean pipe so for example I use this pipe okay I smoke from it I'm not going to put uh, the tobacco that I'm reviewing straight into it no 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 I'm that crazy that I have to uh, clean this pipe with alcohol uh, through the uh, the smoke hole and make sure that it's clean and tidy because uh, I want to get a neutral taste not affected by anything else and uh, the last thing that I do because it's not easy to just come out with some um, how should I say uh, flavors and stuff like that I made myself um, um, taste note table or taste table note no taste taste note table uh, I'll see if I can put this on the screen while I'm uh, telling you about it so I made um, a Microsoft Word document with tobacco taste notes and um, on the basic notes I have these uh, all these notes like for example herbal notes which can be grass or hay, green tea, black tea or if there are smoky notes there can be bonfire or incense or peat uh, so even even here you can see some differences so there are for example some Latakia blends that are more towards some incense uh, taste than some beet notes, you know. Um, again, spice, pepper, and stuff like that. Uh, nutty, what kind of nutty? Uh, is it hazelnut, walnut, uh, cashew, peanut, uh, whatever? Shoot, is sweet. Uh, what type of sweetness does it have? Uh, does it taste sugary? or honey or molasses or candy or how and you, you I have all these stuff uh, on the basic uh, taste notes and then I have another category which is fruity and uh, it's divided into five uh, different groups uh, one being berries like blueberries, blackberry, cranberry, strawberry, raspberry, and even pomegranate. Even though I don't know if pomegranate is a berry, is it? No, I don't think it is. But uh, uh, I put it. I think I put it in this. I don't know why I put it in here. But uh, yeah, and uh, then comes the dark fruit, which is uh, very pre pre uh, present in many. In many blends, you will find if you are, um, if you pay attention to the blend that you are smoking, you will find 
uh, many times some dark fruit notes. Uh, I mostly find uh, fig notes and uh, let's say dry prunes in a blend. Obviously not in all blends, but uh, many times you will find notes of dark fruit. Uh, the other category, other fruit like coconut, banana, apple, pineapple, apricot, peach, grapes, cherry. Well, this is uh, this is very rare that I really detect some coconut or banana or whatever. Uh, even if it's uh, an aromatic blend that has been topped with, uh, let's say, coconut or banana or apple. Uh, casing or topping or whatever um, even if it's topped with that it doesn't mean that it really tastes like that or smells like that but if it does and uh, I'm smoking it and I am de detecting it um, when I'm smoking it I am looking here and uh, I'm thinking well, what, what, what am, am I detecting is it uh, is it coconut is it is it a apple or a pineapple I, I don't know and whatever I detect I write it down uh, then comes the citrus notes which can be you know lemon lime orange grapefruit they're all citrus but it depends what type of citrus because when you simply say it's citrusy it's a bit vague you know uh, in my opinion you are uh, vague, you're not very specific in what way is it citrusy um, so if you can if you can uh, detect the exact type of citrus you will say well it's citrusy lemony or citrusy lime or stuff like that if you can't detect what type you just have to say just citrusy, you know, that's it. And then comes the uh, another category, which is alcohol-based, uh, not alcohol-based, but alcohol taste, and uh, the most, you know, uh, the most um, often found tastes of alcohol in a blend will be rum, whiskey, cognac and wine. Um, <coughs> you will see some some blends uh, that are not topped or cased but have some notes of wine. I've seen this with some burly blends. They are not cased. They just had a fermented red virginia with some burly and somehow when they blended it they had some notes of red wine for example and uh, some uh, grapes and I would say that if it's topped with whiskey well uh, it depends it if it really tastes like whiskey or if it's topped with rum it depends if it tastes like rum because like I said not all uh, blends that are topped with a certain thing will taste like that so and then the last uh, the last category is other which are less common like uh, barbecue or grill coffee or espresso chemical uh, which would be like perfume or soapy and I think we all know that type of plants which are soapy and uh, not necessarily the the Lakeland essence but I've I've uh, found some blends some aromatic blends that were soapy and then there's the ketchup uh, notes which you used to find in the McClelland uh, blends but not all uh, not only because I if I'm not mistaken I think I detected this ketchup uh, 
you know, it's even on the Seattle Pipe Club um, blends. So that's, um, oh, sorry again, uh, for that snoring in the background, that is my pug Luna, and for me she's adorable when she's uh, snoring, but uh, yeah, sorry for that. Oh, and uh, then there's the menthol or mint, which is very rare, very rare, but you can, you can detect some, sometimes, in a very, very peculiar blend, you might detect some minty notes. And uh, it's good to have them on this list, because if you don't have them on this list, it would be harder to, to find all these notes. So this list comes in handy for me and it's uh, it's always uh, in front of me when I'm um, when I'm making a review and now um, I know that I wanted to say another another thing about um, about reviews so um, What did I want to say? I talked about all this, but I think it's important to say that when you are making a review, I mean, when I am making a review, I'm just there and concentrated on the pipe and the tobacco. Ah, and yeah, I remembered what I wanted to say. The most important thing when you are making a review and when you are smoking a pipe, in my opinion, is that you need to have a cool smoke. In Romania, we have this... Uh, uh, we wish each other uh, cold smoke. We, we tell each other, pipers, have a good, sm a cool smoke. And uh, when we wish each other that, we mean that, uh, well, first of all, don't get a tongue bite. And second of all, because um, a hot smoke will be just hot and uh, quite tasteless. On the other hand, when the, when the smoke is cool, when the smoke is cool, you will be able to detect all the necessary flavors. And that is why I'm telling people to um, take more more care uh, when they are smoking. So don't puff too fast, because not only that you can you risk burning your pipe and burning your tongue, but you won't be able to taste all the notes in that blend. You know, a pipe is meant to be sipped. A pipe is meant to be a delicate, um, well, at least in my opinion, a delicate uh, action. It's not like when you're puffing on cigarettes. You can't puff a pipe like you're puffing cigarettes. You have to be more gentle and to pay more attention to the pipe because that is when the pipe is going to reveal to you all those great flavors that it can give to you so that is my last uh, well I always smoke cool um, if I can't smoke cool uh, I just let the the pipe go off and then relight it so <sighs> that's how I make the reviews, that's my rules for making a review. I don't think I I forgot anything, I hope not. Uh, so that's, that's my process. I take reviews seriously. And I make reviews as objective as I can. And as you can see, it's not an easy process, but um, it's something that I'm really passionate about. 
it's something that I really like doing. So that was all. If you're interested in seeing my uh, my reviews, in reading my reviews actually, because I have some video reviews here on YouTube, but they are very long, and I don't think there is anyone on this planet that has the patience to um, to watch them from beginning to end. But uh, you can go to my uh, page on Tobacco Reviews. I will leave uh, a link in the description and you will be able to see my reviews and even the favorites and even the the tobaccos that I want to to buy and to review and stuff like that so if you're interested in my reviews go there and uh, yeah that's it that's that that's my method for reviewing so I don't know what else to do uh, what else to do what else to say if you enjoyed this um, this video if you learned something from it give a like maybe subscribe I don't know leave a comment and uh, until next time take care and happy puffing <laughs>